Great and Carter applauds Lady C's move to publish Meghan and Harry, the real story, to lay bare Sussex's PR plot. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have done for the royal family what nobody else has, and whether you support them or not boils down to if they should have done it. The marriage of a beloved prince of Britain to a Hollywood actress was enough of a tough pill to swallow for most. And add to this a never-heard-before phenomenon, Megxit, docuseries, and a 400-page-long memoir where they speak their truth, and you've stirred up the only tea Britain will not take. As a rebuttal to Markle and Prince Harry's statements, supporters of the royal family have made many of their own, the most acclaimed among which comes Lady Colin Campbell, who has recently released a book titled Meghan and Harry, The Real Story. The Sussexes are quite well acquainted with the concept of writing history, especially after Megxit. However, that is not the kind of accomplishment Lady C regards in her book. The author appeared on this morning to talk about her book and said that the relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship is history in the making. While at first glance the statement and the title of the book itself seem to be in favor of the couple, the content is anything but. Lady C in her new book wrote about the truth of Prince Harry and Meghan without their knowledge. This becomes clear as she narrates how, from the very beginning, the Duke of Sussex and his then-girlfriend used her race as a trump card. Realizing how brilliant Lady C is, the former editor of Vanity Fair, Graydon Carter, also shows his opinion that the Sussexes' decision to part ways from the royals will come back to haunt them. Harry and Meghan announced they were stepping back in 2020, and the pair moved to California, and they since released the royal family bashing Netflix series Harry and Meghan and Harry's memoir Spare. Harry and Meghan are just fascinating concepts, Carter told The Telegraph. Why don't they just do a reality show? Get it over with. By doing so, it would be so much harder to hide their true identities and intentions, let people see them for who they really are. They've done something they'll live to regret, which is their children have no relatives. They have no cousins that they see, or uncles or aunts, and they don't even see grandparents except for just one. That'll come back to haunt them at a certain point. Montecito is gorgeous, but it's God's waiting room. There's nothing, nothing to do out there. It's a 40-minute drive from L.A. There can't be many kids there because young families can't afford it. It's a lonely, beautiful place. The couple recently said they were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase. The incident occurred after the Sussexes had attended an award ceremony in New York. Carter said, I've lived in New York for 50 years and you can't go faster than 3 miles an hour. When I first read about it, I thought, that doesn't look right. For people like that, unavailability is your greatest asset. If you're out there too much, the public has a chance to get sick of you. I think they've made the very wrong move that you really shouldn't make. Talking about the royal family, he added, I have no interest in the royals whatsoever, but I think for the British, they're like the way Disneyland needs Mickey and Goofy and Pluto because they're part of the narrative, and that's what people come to see. In Britain, if you take away the royal family, it becomes like a small Middle Eastern country. It's like the magic United Kingdom. I love it when things go wrong for them. When things go right, it's kind of boring. Meanwhile, Lady C believes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are writing history. Harry issued the coup de grace by telling his grandparents that they would be accused of racism unless they agreed to the marriage, she wrote in her book. And according to her, the prince and other entities she regards as sources in her biography cannot be named but are credible. This is just an extract from the 400-page book written by the author, at which some point also says that Meghan Markle has been plotting to run for president of the United States of America.